Welcome to the Business Owner Spotlight. I am your host, Stephanie Scheller. I bring you guys amazing business owners because the truth of the matter is this economy, every economy works with the small businesses that provide employment, they keep the wheels turning, and let's be honest, there's some incredible small business owners out there with amazing information to share, and that's my goal is to bring that to you guys. So today, I actually have a husband-wife duo, and I'm super excited because I always love how these two end up playing together, the husband-wife team. So Manuel, Erica, thank you guys for taking time to join me. Thanks, Stephanie, thank for having us. Well, so obviously we've chatted. I have an idea of what you guys do, but our listeners don't. So why don't we start there? What do you guys do? And better question, or I, I shouldn't say better question, but how did you decide this was what you wanted to go into? Well, what uh, we want to do is we want to try something new and different. So I've been in the corporate world for um, a lot of years, and uh, so, is, so is Erica. So we wanted to, you know, uh, invest in a business, something that we can call our own, and uh, but we weren't sure exactly what. So we wanted to look at several options. So there's something that would be fun, something that would be challenging, something that uh, it would be rewarded and also that uh, will, you know, have the potential for, you know, uh, earn income and grow in the future. So that was the first thing that got us going. So after we decided, you know, yeah, we're, we're, we're at a place where we uh, have the, uh, the time and the resources to put into it. Okay, let's start looking at, in, into to, to what we want to go ahead and invest in. So... Yeah. We decided uh, after looking uh, and talking to a lot of people, uh, we partnered with local uh, uh, SBDC uh, uh, folks. Um, we, we used to live in, in uh, Indiana, now we live in, in Texas. So we, we talked to those folks and they, they, uh, they made a lot of recommendations. And um, we talked to a company called FriendNet uh, that uh, basically what they do is, is they meet with you and they, they, uh, they ask you a couple of questions and and based on what, what your answers are, they pair you up with uh, uh, opportunities which kind of match your profile, what you want to do, how much money you want to put into, uh, what kind of involvement you want to have, if it's just a, a part-time, full-time, one person involved, uh, both uh, the, the, the people involved. So based on all that, you know, they uh, gave us a couple of options and we explored, explored them and, um, and started looking at, at all of that information. So. That's kind of what um, got us going here in, in, for this business. So what do you guys, what, what franchise, I mean, obviously I know, but for our, our listeners, what franchise did you guys end up picking? Well, uh, we choose a franchise called British Swim School. And what, uh, what we liked about it is that, well, it was within our cost range and it was something that we felt it was very uh, cool concept and interesting, and uh, it would it, you know it would benefit you know the, the community because it, it's a service, yes, but it's also something that uh, you're providing uh, instruction to to people, uh, kids of you know all ages from starting from months up to um, really uh, older people. Uh, mm -hmm. Something that you can teach them skills, something that uh, it's going to be for, for a lifetime, you know, and something that could potentially save their lives. Mm -hmm. So that's something, that was the, uh, the, the uniqueness of the actual uh, opportunity, you know, something that, uh, yeah, it is, this, this is a business, but it's something that is cool, that would be great to be part of. And uh, we felt that it had the potential of uh, scaling up, and that's what we would be, that's what we were looking for. So when you say it's a cool concept, and of course, obviously, every time I think British Swim School, I'm like, British Swim School? Swim School. <laughs> yeah, so what, what is the, what's the difference? I think I can better explain it's that. It's a swim school. It's basically, it's, it's a swim school. We teach children from three months and up, and adults as well, to swim. And uh, a, a very important, important part of our program is uh, survival as well. It's not just swim, learning how to teaching how to swim, but also teaching kids how to survive in the water and around the water. Oh, so it's taking it a step further. It's kind of it's making it more broadly applicable than hey, go swim two hundred laps, right? Right. So, so I think that's that's a, a differentiating factor uh, because you know uh, swim classes. You know, almost everyone has gone through a swim class, or you know, a lot of people are going to be. 
you know, watch this video and say, well, swim class is swim class. Well, no, that's, that's not the case that the way we see it. You know, it's uh, the, the unique part of this, this fr uh, franchise is that the focus is uh, on survival. Okay, mm -hmm. the, and, and, you know, hopefully some people will be able to, you know, you know click on the links or, or, and explore more about this concept. And it's, it's the, the, to make the, 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 the people or the people taking the classes feel more comfortable in the water and in learning how to survive. If, how to be safe or on water. Yes, how, how, to, how to be safe. So, and, and after, after you get that part, and then you go into more uh, conventional instruction on, on how to perform techniques, etc. That's awesome. So you guys are relatively newly opened, but you have already gone through what has sounded like quite the interesting story to get it off the ground. What are some of the challenges that you guys encountered that you didn't expect and how did you get past those? Because I think a lot of business owners, this is just for our listeners, I think a lot of business owners run into more problems than they expect getting the business off the ground and then they're like, well, <laughs> I guess I'm not going to work, right? Fate says I shouldn't. So what, were, what did some of y'all run into? How did you handle that? Well, Stephanie, this is a franchise. It's a proven method. And that's why we um, we chose um, we chosen, but uh, I think the biggest challenge so far has been to create brand awareness here in San Antonio. Uh, most people know all their names, mm -hmm. uh, but they don't know what Bridgestone School is or who we are. So um, creating brand awareness is what's going to bring the, um, the customers in. And um, in the beginning, you really have to focus on uh, marketing and knowing who your customers are uh, so you can target them. And in that way, you know, you bring the customers and they start to trust you. And from there, I understand that then um, businesses will go by referral, but whether you're doing social media to market yourself um, or any other more uh, classic methods of marketing, um, that's, that's one thing that was a challenge for us. And it, it still, uh, still is uh, a challenge, you know. We are trying to establish ourselves as a, as a premier swim academy in San Antonio. That's my goal. But uh, we need to know who our customers are here, and then we need to go and find them, and then they need to recognize who we are. Mm -hmm. So you need to put in place all kinds of um, marketing strategies um, so that people will trust you and come to you. So how did you, how did you solve? I mean, did you just do the trial and error method, or how did you guys figure that out? Because you're you're starting to. And, you know, you said you're still struggling with it, but honestly, everybody struggles with marketing. It's not exactly like there's a, a golden bullet to that one. No, no, it never is. But that's why you want to partner uh, with uh, folks from like the SBDC. Uh, there's a lot of resources there you can you can talk to. Uh, there's also, you know, this being a franchise, um, you have the benefit of having other franchisees that already are established and have gone through all this. Uh, and you have advisors from the franchise as well. And uh, we have uh, weekly meetings where we talk about, you know, where we are in terms of, you know, our marketing, our results, our things going, what's, what a strategy looks like, what results are we getting. And we review all that. And if we need to make any corrections, you know, we, we, we talk about it and then we take action. So um, that, that is one benefit of, you know, uh, going with the franchise because you have all those resources that, that are in front of you and that will help you be more successful. Uh, but yeah. but again, you know that's that's talking to to folks that are not necessarily here, and, and there's going to be a, a unique aspect of every every franchise wherever they wherever they are. So there's there's different uh, um, uh, social patterns on, on depending where, where where you're at, and that's the part that where you got to you know learn a little bit as you go. But you're using you're using tools that are going to help you get there faster. So we work also with with our franchise. We partner with uh, companies that uh, manage our uh, online marketing campaigns, uh, also our traditional marketing campaigns. Uh, so there, there's a wealth of- It's a mix of different yes. um, strategies. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but you you really need to know who your customers are and where and how you can reach them. I so love I love that you focused on that because it's so true. I know people who are just kind of like, let's just come up with a cool message and throw it out there as many ways as possible. And the problem is, you know, you pay, you, it doesn't matter how you do it, you pay per eyeball. You know, regardless of, of it, it all comes back to being paid for exposure. And if I can pay to only get exposed to 10,000 eyeballs and know that those 10,000 eyeballs are the 10,000 eyeballs I need to be in front of, you know, I paid a lot less money, got better results. So I love, and the other thing for our listeners, I want to point this out because they're talking about uh, going to a franchise, right? Going to other franchisees uh, to get that advice. And the, that is one of the huge benefits of franchises because there's no competition, right? You, when you go to a competitor in either in your own market or somewhere else in the U S oftentimes there's kind of like a, let me hold back my secret sauce because is my secret sauce. So there's a huge benefit, but I love that you guys, you addressed the local by going to the SBDC, but then you also addressed like the industry by going to other business owners in the industry. That was, I feel that was a really smart movie all's part. So I'm curious. I know we're actually surprisingly managing to come towards the end already. It's amazing how fast these go. Um, what is y'all's best piece of advice for other business owners out there who are working, who are trying to get their business off the ground, what's the best piece of advice you could give to them? Well, I can give one and you can give one mm -hmm. of that. Okay. So to me is, you know, find, find something that uh, really motivates you to invest your time and money. Because uh, you can, don't, don't try to go with the scheme that this is what's going to make the most money. Uh, because if you don't, if you don't like it, if you don't, like putting time towards it because it's not always going to be fun and games. It's going to be, you know, difficult times. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to be solving problems. So you need to really believe in what you're doing and like what you're doing. So mm -hmm. I would just start there, find something that you feel passionate about, that, that, that you care, that uh, you wouldn't mind, you know, spending the long hours and putting time into it. And my piece of advice will be to, um, um, establish a good marketing strategy from the beginning. Don't undermine marketing, because that's what's gonna bring the customers in. And um, it's oftentimes um, undermined, I will say. Underlooked. Underlooked. Yeah, I, I would agree. I'm trying to like write the, I always try and write these down and take notes. I don't know if you guys were like, what is she doing looking down the whole time we're talking? Um, but but uh, no, I, I think you're right, I think people, you know, in B2B, you don't necessarily have to have a marketing, you know, business to business, you don't have to have a marketing strategy because you just have a sales team, just, you know, point and shoot, go. But in B2C, business to consumer, what you guys are doing, if you don't have a plan, a strategy behind your marketing from the get go, you're setting yourself up to fail because you, you know, you can't go like strong arm people into coming in. You can't be like walking out there being like, go check it out. Like, you're like, let me take you by the hand. It's, you're just not going to get sales that way. So I think that's a really, really good piece of advice is to have a strategy from the get go. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Well, wow. Uh, we're, we're here at the end. I really want to thank you guys for taking time. I know you both are going 20 million different directions. So I really do appreciate you guys taking time to sit down with me and just give me 15 minutes to chat and pick y'all's brain. I, I really can't say thanks enough. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Oh, well, thank you guys. In the meantime, for our listeners out there, think about it this way. Look, I love the fact that I just got to interview franchise owners because they bring a really cool perspective. And one of the things that the franchise has that a lot of other companies don't even think about is that systemization where they have a plan and a strategy for how to make the business work. And I really want to encourage you, if you don't have that in your business, sit down and make it happen for yourself because it's, it's a huge piece of success. It's allowed them to go focus on marketing and I'm, I'm super impressed with that. So in the meantime, guys, business owners out there, you have an amazing, amazing future ahead of you. You have something not many people can claim and that is you design your life, but you're the only person who can make it happen for yourself. So get out there and make it a great life. Sorry. Thank you.